I think it's bad news for the English game. Let me introduce the pressing game. It's coming home. It's coming the football website, which is taking a stand against hypocrisy in football and says, we cut through the bull and try to shine a spotlight on what's really going on behind the scenes of the beautiful game. Sounds great. And guess what? Their star contributor is Burnley fan and spin doctor Alistair Campbell. But curiously, this seems to be about the only football website in the world which thinks the Qatar World Cup is a good idea. They spend a lot of energy attacking the Sunday Times for alleging the Qatar bid is corrupt. Gary Lineker gets a slating for opposing the bid, and they really, really don't like the FA boss, Greg Dyke, who also opposes the bid. How can someone as out of touch with reality as Greg Dyke be trusted to improve the English game? Well, there are a number of us who have uh, questioned the whole Qatari bid, who think that actually it's a bit of a disaster for football and should never, the, the World Cup should never have been awarded to, to Qatar. And I, that, one has to assume that, that, that this is part of the response to that. Portland is essentially about reputation management. So what's really going on? The story begins here, Portland Communications, the PR outfit which represents the Qatar regime here. Today, Portland admitted to Channel 4 News that they had created the pressing game. The site was created by a former employee and our digital team gave some technical help. You've got a very, very good team bringing together a broad range of skills which I think will help most companies meet any challenge that requires PR and communications. Seen there singing Portland's praises, Alistair Campbell today admitted to us that he was a senior advisor at Portland when he was writing for the Pressing Games site. Mark Flanagan, a Portland partner, was the first person to tweet a link to the Pressing Games site. We asked him why he did that today. He declined to answer. A test page for this supposedly fan website originally showed a map hosted on a domain produced by Portland.com. The registration for the domain name was initially under Portland Communications, then subsequently hidden. Football fans are perfectly entitled to do a blog and have a go at me and have a go at the FA. That's what you get in a free society. It's a bit surprising to discover that it's not fans at all. It's a PR agency. And then to discover that public relations agency is actually its biggest client are the Qataris. And you wonder, what's going on here? In the trade, they call it astroturfing. You set up a website and it looks like it's got a genuine grassroots feel to it. But in fact, it's just a front. It's designed to hide the identity of those behind it, particularly to protect conflicts of interest. Now, the Portland Group are members of the PR Consultants Association and their code of conduct expressly forbids astroturfing. With Qatar's bid already in deep trouble, Portland claim today they don't run the site and it's not part of their work for the Gulf state. But they declined to explain why their staff contributed to it and promoted it month after month after month. And mysteriously, a pro-Qatari Twitter feed linked to the site was shut down today. Those promoting Qatar's World Cup bid say they know nothing about any of this and are dismayed. Qatar! Depending on where you stand on the Qatar bid, today's revelations will either make no difference at all or there'll be another nail in the coffin of the doomed bid.